Alright. I said let me let me I said let me go over the Toys R Us today. I know that they started shipping the pre-order, so that must mean that they putting them out at retail. And sure enough, walked up in Toys R Us, they was unpacking the boxes. Got me a bulldozer. So finally, finally cre uh finally uh uh completed the uh wrecking crew, which is one of the teams that has been the most anticipated and most wanted in six inch form for a very long time so i'm gonna get this bad boy open set something up with the other team members uh but you know i'm happy that uh hasbro finally came through and and put this figure out man because dwight still know that i'm about to beat that ass if you watching this dwight this ain't for no scalper you a scalper the fuck out shit this one for them real collectors that's army building and posing figures Marvel Legends, imports, many make the I'm fucking with. High beast, we know about you. Stay buying figs. Don't I'm just kidding, man. I wasn't gonna beat up, beat up Dwight. I'm gonna show you how to, how I go through the process of setting up something, um, as quickly as I can, I guess, just to give cats an idea of how you could set up something that's contained, that looks good, and that's cheap and easy to do. Um, so oftentimes, you know, with ACBA people take inspiration from, uh, you know, directly from the comic book. So I'm looking at this scene right here, the Wrecking Crew, and I'm like, you know, I could set up some easy walking scene with some smoke and some lights, and this is something that you could do at home as well. So let's get started. So I got some lights. I got the beginning of a setup. I got a hot pink uh, piece of uh, construction paper, a poster paper. Uh, this is not really construction paper. You don't really want construction paper, even though this what I'm using as the base is construction paper. For the backdrop, you want like poster paper. It's a little more expensive, maybe like, uh, I think maybe like seven or eight of the this size sheets came in a pack for like, I don't know. It was still only probably like a couple of dollars. Um, and it was a hot pink, a neon green, a yellow, red different colors but you know once the light hits them you get an even different color uh, you know but uh it's probably not really showing up as pink right now on the camera but i got a base and i got a backdrop very very simple just a base and a backdrop um i want to pull this out a little bit more but you want them to kind of meet at a point and uh and be uh seamless and even and what have you so all right we'll so um i'm just getting them in some uh in a vanilla pose first i think i'm gonna have them walking like the picture though um but i'm just showing you here uh one light on that side one light on this side and we got some lights from above and the lights in the back is shining directly on the construction paper and uh you know these lights above is is giving you the light in the front it's sort of like a triangular uh set up with the lights i talked about that and in, in main course in the last main course so i'll uh, bring it in a little bit and let you see so there you have it you know like i said it's a hot pink backdrop but with the lights it's really really popping with the colors and if i wanted to do something else and change out the bulb that's in the front with my colored light i could do something with that uh you know i'll, I'll explore it but you should always try to explore with your light and, and try different things uh, but this is quick and easy and then now if I wanted to just switch over and take some pictures They should really really pop and really have some nice colors and, and stuff to them um, But yeah, I'm uh, um, Now take them out of vanilla mode and, and try to get them in a in a walking pose and add the smoke and stuff like that So I think I almost got the spacing correct. I just need to get the uh uh, I need to work on the space a little bit more, but I need to just get these walking poses right. I, I had to use a stand for um, power driver on the far left because my construction paper at the base was a little bent and it wasn't allowing him to just be NSA because the construction paper was just throwing him in and uh, Thunderbolt off. But I think I'm pretty much okay with the spacing right here. Um, Maybe I could move uh, Thunderball over to the left just a little bit more, but now what we're going to do is try to uh, cover the base 
and where the backdrop and the base meet with some um, with some polyester. So this is a pillow I had showed some episodes back that I bought. It's got some good polyester on the inside, and this is much better than cotton. It shows up better on camera. It takes the light better. It might not look like much right now, but this is the move right here. And as you can see, I got the base covered a little bit. It's coming along pretty nicely. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with this walking post. And there you have it with something with a very simple setup. Um, just some props on the left and right to look like they was kind of smashing stuff as they walked through. One backdrop, one base, that's some decent posing and lights and you can set up something that's clean and contained and it's not hard to do it just takes patience don't don't get it confused this took a while to keep looking through the camera and getting everything right right now when I'm shooting it's actually the next day uh, I let things sit overnight and now it's morning and I'm coming back and shooting um, and I actually had posted up a picture of uh, some of the progress in the group I usually do that I post a picture and keep working on stuff until I get it right for main course or for the video or what have you so um, you know the basics you pretty much have the basics though and I used a lot of uh, polyester here around you can see in the back behind um, a power driver there's some polyester looking like smoke you can see some of the pink spots showing through I wanted the, the smoke to really really uh, make them pop a bit and you can see some smoke on the back uh, right behind Wrecker and uh, and um, and uh, bulldozer and some smoke at the base and I think it looks pretty good uh, here's another quick technique that you could use to get some really nice um, pictures against a white backdrop um, I have a white piece of a uh, large piece of uh, uh, poster board it's, this is more of a board actually and I have one at the base and I've got my lights on either side and I've got lights up above and right now just looking at it it looks very dark it doesn't look like anything it's not gonna really show up like that uh, show up as as light and as white as you would want it on video but when you take a picture you want to either increase your exposure or I have a mode on this camera called simple shot uh, it's called simple shot excuse me <clears throat> which allows me to up the brightness so I up it uh, almost to about the maximum and you'll see the result that I'll get so here's me looking greasier than a motherfucker <laughs> what's that this is one of those old soldier movies them in that movie I remember seeing it in like junior high school but everybody was fucking sweating and greasy as fuck <laughs> that's how I look right now jeez alright so I'm gonna show you this real quick so I guess that's showing up kind of bright there. I don't know. Um, but you can see how I can up the brightness. I got the color at the max and the brightness. And um, So whatever mode that would be on your camera. Again, I have a very basic camera here. SH, a Samsung SH100. It's very outdated and old. But it does get the job done. So if you have anything better than this, then you're good to go you should definitely be able to increase the exposure or whatever mode it is in your camera to get that brightness up and you're gonna see you get a nice really nice bright uh, picture uh, against a white backdrop and it'll really give you that infinite white and make everything pop so when you're doing something like this you definitely want to have your posing 100 percent on point because that is going to be the major focus of the picture you're going to see the the figures very very clearly Rounding out the display here, I did a couple of different things that could actually lead up to some panels. So I might actually put together these uh, shots into panels. And that's something that you want to do too. Think about, uh, uh, you know, a couple of splash pages or a page or, you know, you might want to work it out. 